I got new glasses. Do you like them? Hello and welcome, welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I am doing another romance recommendation video. Look at me giving romance recs like a pro. I know Heather and Nicole are so proud. So I have five more books that I'm going to recommend. Two of them are in the same series and the only books in this series that I recommend. So actually I'm going to start with those. If you have Kindle Unlimited, perhaps you have seen the Mr. Series by B. Love. If you're going to read it, um, maybe only read books one and four mr librarian and mr concierge so mr librarian i had gotten off a recommendation from ashley over at bookish realm and it is quite literally about a librarian who owns it's like the only black owned library in some state and the female main character uh restores books and so they end up meeting at the library one day her client is an asshole and then he defends her, kicks the guy out and comforts her, whatever. I went into this thinking that it was going to be a regular, regular contemporary romance and it is that. However, there's also a little, a little uh, black market dealings, a little gang shit happening on the side and I'm not mad at it. I enjoyed it. We love mafia romances over here and let's be honest, mafia and gangs are the same thing. So it was good. I really like that one. The male main character is very sweet and I really like their romance. Definitely recommend. I would say skip everything else, right? Just go straight to book four, Mr. Concierge. This one is Brother's Best Friend and also a little bit of BDSM. She's like very new to it and she's trying to convince him to be her dom and he's like, nah, I'm not doing that. You can figure out how that goes. But the relationship was very sweet and it was a very good example of brother's best friend because the brother was like, number one, I knew that the two of you were gonna end up together and two, why would I be upset about you being with my best friend? Because that's how it should be. If you think that your best friend is not worthy of being with your sibling, then you probably need new friends and why are you friends with them in the first place? That's just my opinion. But those two, I really, really enjoyed. So if you're gonna read that series, read the other books with caution because it's messy as hell. There are some new releases that I still need to catch up on and I will be doing that probably in the second half of the year. Robin's really gonna hate me for this, but I'm gonna send her voice note updates because I have to share the experience with someone. The next book that I wanna recommend is Boot Up by Daniel Allen. This one I also got from recommendation from Ashley. Daniel Allen has a hot holiday hookup series on KU and I tried reading other ones in the series and honestly this is the only one that I really really liked enough that perhaps I would reread it but also that I would recommend to other people. So this one is a Halloween romance and it's about a girl I think she's in college she's home for something she goes to a Halloween party and she meets this guy and they hook up. It was actually pretty good it's very well written and honestly yeah it's probably the only one in the entire series that i would actually recommend because the others were okay but not great next i have the kiss countdown by Etta easton this came out earlier this year in april i believe and i had an arc of it i love this book so much i rated it 4.75 stars it is about an event planner and an astronaut who end up fake dating and it's so cute if you like cinnamon rolls he falls first forced proximity only one bed and fake dating then this book is definitely for you i will say the reason that i didn't give it a full five stars is because the fmc did piss me off a little bit but i do have a full review of it so i will have that linked in the cards in the description for you but if you haven't read this book yet you should because it's so cute and the last book that I'm going to recommend today is Only for the Week by Natasha Bishop. Shout out to Steph for getting me a physical copy. It is also on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested. But in this, we are following Janelle. She is the maid of honor in the wedding of her sister and her ex-boyfriend. I have feelings about that, but that's beside the point. To Janelle, this is not a big deal. She does not care. She does not have feelings for this man anymore, and she can see that he is a better match for her sister. However, everyone else is making it a bigger deal than it needs to be and assuming that she feels awkward or she's uncomfortable or she's just so sad and she can't handle it so everybody is really working her nerves and she's just trying to do her job as maid of honor and be there for her sister and the best man who is her ex-boyfriend's best friend decides that he would like to help her relieve some stress for this week in whatever way she sees fit and obviously it doesn't only last for the week but it is 
such a fun time. I really enjoyed this book. I also have a review of this, so I will have that linked for you as well. Janelle is one of my favorite female main characters. Rome is one of my favorite book boyfriends. Her sister is on my list of characters that I would square up with, but overall it was a really good time. It is a little messy, but it is still also just very cute and so heartwarming. So if you are a romance girly, if you have KU, I definitely recommend. So those are my most recent Black romance recommendations. Let me know if you have read these or if they are on your TBR. If you haven't read The Kiss Countdown, read it. You'll thank me later. Otherwise, that is all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.